everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson this is Rohit and today I'm going to show you safe navigation operator in Apex so it's a like safe navigator operator is released as a part of winter 21 update and I already created this blog so you can reach out to this blog and you can get to know about more this safe navigation operator in Apex right so first of all we have to know about these things so how it can be work or how to use it in our Apex code uh, the safe navigation operator because it's a uh, it's kind of like a very useful for us if you are working in null pointer exception if you want to handle this type of exception in Apex so you can reduce your number, uh, number of line of code or you can refactor your code within a second so how to do that let me show you one by one but uh, if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new so let's get started without any further delay so here you can see like use the save navigator operator so this is the notation if you want to use save navigation operator here right to replace explicitly sequence check for the nulls references and the operator sort uh, you know circuits expression the attempt to the operator on a null values and return null instead of the you know like uh, null pointer x uh, the main advantages of the safe navigator operator is avoid the cluster code where there are too many null checks and make it looks more you know like verbose so let's have a look an example where we might be across the null pointer exception i will show you how to use safe navigation uh, operator to make the code lot of you know more verbose so first of all you have to follow my steps uh, like uh, first step i want to write some code so it's a simply like a map and uh, i'm fetching the account data using this soql query using map i'm storing this account map variables so how to do that let me show you one by one so here i just logged in into my org just click on this gear icon and now you can see the developer console options here just you have to click on it and uh, just open your execute anonymous window if you don't know just you can navigate like uh, debug tab and just open this op open execute anonymous window or you can press control e for shortcut right so now here let me remove unwanted code from here also let me close the old tabs from here as well so once you done these things now you have to write your code one by one here so i already mentioned this kind of you know steps so you can follow this step and you can write your code inside your org so now here uh, just wait and here now just let me create a one map right so it's a map id and account right and it's a accounts map equals to new and same map of id and account right after that you have to write your sql query inside this one because i need only two columns id and name that's why i'm writing like select id comma name from which object account object so now you can see this a map right and uh, let me tell you one thing Th this is the traditional code just i am writing here right so how to get the name and how to get the id based on the key value pair you know like map always work key value pair right so key always unique and values can be very like duplicate or something like that right so just system dot debug i need to debug this code and first of all let me add some you know like ei okay so here just concatenate this variable and i need to get some data based on the record id of that particular account record so first of all uh, I just copy this variable paste it here and you know like map having lots of methods so one of the method that is called get based on the ID I want to get the account name right so how to get it so just you have to use your map variable dot get and you have to pass record ID inside this get and after that you have to write your column name so my na column name is name so let me copy the record id from this record so you can go ahead here just click on this particular tab of the account or any object as you want and just open any kind of records 
inside here and just copy this record ID uh, from the URL just copy it and paste it into your code right so here just I already pasted this ID here and I need to debug this code so just click on this execute and always check this checkbox that is called open log it it is easy to see your debug inside your developer console so just click on this execute and you will be see the output here just click on debug only and now you can see my name right so this is the traditional code but uh, how to reduce uh, that kind of error that is called null pointer exception right so let me tell you one thing here suppose that this ID is already exists in Salesforce environment or we can say Salesforce database right but some uh, some way or somehow uh, suppose that this ID is not available let's say I want to change this ID let's say this one and immediately you will be get an error that is called null pointer exception so just click on this execute and now you will be see system dot null pointer exception attempt to dereference a null object right because of this ID is not longer anywhere in this org that's why you uh, you already get it this kind of error right so how to avoid this null pointer exception so traditional code is you can check your code with the help of if block right let's say if and under this if this is the uh, map variable under this map variable I need to get some record based on this ID so let me check this ID here and uh, just if you want to uh, avoid this null pointer exception so so this is the traditional code like not equal to null under this block I need to check my this line so just copy this line paste it here and uh, comment out this uh, second line and click on this execute now you can see no error is coming right now because of we already check this null pointer exception with the help of if or not null right so if you click on this debug only you cannot see any kind of error uh, any kind of result that's why you can see uh, this line of code like uh, one two three and four line of code but how to reduce or how to refactor this code with the help of safe navigator operator that is the purpose of this video so how to do that let me show you here so this is the traditional one if you want to change your code in your project or anywhere just always use the save navigator operator because kind of like uh, performance point of view you can increase your you know like uh, line by line code execution or fast execution of heap size right of the map so just here you can see this one uh, this code just let me remove this code here and uh, I want to use my safe navigator operator so let me add save this navigator operator right so just copy it or paste it here this one so how to use that let me show you here very easy and very you know performance point of view is very fast so just uncomment this code line number two under here just uh, I will show you anywhere anytime if you want to see this kind of code let's say not equal to null okay so not equal to null always equivalent this question mark always remember okay so now how to use this uh, question mark inside my this uh, line number two so just you have to do one thing here once you write this get method after that you have to check question mark dot and which kind of uh, like data you want to show so I want to use this name and once you write this code you can see my four lines is reduced in uh, one line you can observe here right and let me execute and you will be see as a output so just click on this debug only now you can see the null because of we already changed the ID that's why you cannot see my name right but we can also handle the uh, you know like null pointer exception that's why you can see null as well here because this ID is not available and not longer in the Salesforce environment that's why you you can see this null output here right so this is the way to handle the null pointer exception using safe navigation operator in Apex and this is a very handy uh, you know like uh, feature in Salesforce you can use it anywhere as you want so this is the way to use it right so I hope guys you like this video and 
if you like this video please like share comments and please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching